Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I really wanted to share my um, pregnancy experience um, regarding some of the, I guess, abnormal diagnosis that um, showed up on my ultrasound. When I was pregnant last year, I tried to look for videos regarding this topic and I really didn't find many and I could only imagine how many other people have the same um, diagnosis I suppose and um, turn to the internet to look up some um, I guess comforting uh, blogs or videos to relate to and I've been meaning to make this video for a long time and finally I'm getting the chance to do it but it is about um, two things which is marginal cord insertion in pregnancy and the second one is short femur short uh, bone femur on a fetus um, so the first one is the marginal cord insertion and if you're watching this video you probably um, have been diagnosed with the same thing and you probably did your research you know what it is but if you don't um, a lot to make it short it's basically the placenta has a cord umbilical cord insertion that's supposed to go in the middle of the placenta to ensure proper blood flow to the placenta from the placenta to the fetus and proper nourishment to the baby but there are other uh, variations of cord insertion one of them is marginal which means it's on the margin of the uh, end of the placenta which can uh, cause some growth retardation of the fetus and not always but it can that's the risk so if you do have the diagnosis you're considered a high-risk um, obstetric patient uh, which I was and I did research about it and it, there was really nothing comforting about it that I found. There were a few um, blog posts, I guess, on forums that I found that were comforting that said um, their baby was born fine. So that's what marginal cord insertion is. And um, my, my experience with that is there's not much to say about it. But when um, I ended up having a C-section because I had a breech baby, all along and I uh, that's why I had a c-section so my uh, doctor looked at the placenta and the cord insertion and it was not what the ultrasound showed because the ultrasound ultrasound showed that it's very um, marginal I guess I don't remember the exact measurements but I can look one second okay so the cord insertion is located 1.4 centimeters from the placental margin and uh, but the cord insertion is normal in appearance and it did have three vessel cord which is extremely important so that's what it was 1.4 centimeters which is equal out to be 0 0.55 inches so very very small amount I mean very small amount and when uh, my doctor looked at it after the c-section she estimated to be about two inches it wasn't nearly as uh, marginal as the ultrasound showed so there's hope in that um, know that ultrasounds are not always accurate weight wise measurement wise you they're not to be relied on 100 percent they are there to give an estimate a rough estimate course and um, but that's what it was um, another thing was the femur the femur bone was short and it was measuring one and a half weeks behind which has a whole worry <laughs> of its own um, especially with the cord insertion which indicates uh, growth um, issues for the baby but um, I had to get ultrasounds at 30 weeks and um, the baby was still breached so after that I became a double uh, high-risk patient because of the breech baby and then again at 35 weeks um, and weekly after that 
So everything was consistent, baby was breached. Um, the, the growth was still a week and a half behind, um, but the last two, three weeks I didn't get ultrasounds because I guess there was no point, but in my experience I did have a C-section because of the breech baby. The placental marginal cord insertion was fine, it wasn't as bad at all, and um, the baby was born fine, everything's good and healthy, so I know this is a short video, but I just wanted to share my experience with it, and if you're going through a similar uh, worry in your pregnancy, I just wanted to uh, let you know that you're not alone, please know that this doesn't mean anything, so keep praying, have faith, hope that everything's going to be okay. Um, don't stay off the internet. <laughs> That's like the worst thing that you can do is go on the internet and start googling everything because the internet does make things a lot worse than they are. Um, I guess because of their, the possibility that it can occur, the worst case scenario, so that's why it's there, but don't attach that to your life. Don't depend on the internet. Um, especially if you're not in the medical field, it can be easy to, um, I guess, miss the whole point of it and focus on the wrong things. Since I am a, a nurse, I have a better um, understanding of what I filter out, what I look at, what I focus on. And even then, that still gives me gave me a lot of worrying. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but I just wanted to share, like I said, my experience with it and just know that um, that doesn't mean anything just because ultrasound sh shows or says a specific thing does not guarantee anything. So once again, um, stay on the what's important, focus on the important things of your pregnancy and just eat healthy, exercise, um, light weights and uh, make sure you're clearing everything with your doctor, make sure you're staying happy, stress free and just take care of yourself. and. Um, look for the good things in your pregnancy. So I will say it again, don't hang yourself up on ultrasound or test results because they're not guaranteed, they're a rough estimate, and a lot of the times they do come out wrong, which is a good thing. So um, stay hopeful and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a little random, but I just really wanted to share this with someone if you are in my shoes right now um, to kind of give you reassurance and share my experience with you. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. So thank you so much. Bye.